Aloha fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What beautiful energy you have here. There are a lot of blessings for you. I feel that most of this reading is going to be predictions. I don't think that many of you are in this energy right now. This feels like the energy that's gonna be primarily kicking off and developing for you in the month of September, but you're definitely going to feel this for a significant while, for months to come. You're going to be receiving some type of award recognition, Alkalade soon for a job well done. You could be acknowledged as the best in your industry or the best within your community. There's a lot of energy here of if you can't beat them, join them. So you're going to have a lot of people wanting to establish friendships or connections, mainly for professional purposes. So your network is going to grow and increase. The amount of people in positions of authority that you have access to is going to increase as well. And people are going to view you Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as their counterpart. So you will also be in their index of important people to contact if they should ever need. I'm picking up on a lot of professional success, a lot of gossip within your community or your industries about the quality of work you do, the quality of person that you are. There could be other competitive energies around you who want to bring you onto their team, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel that many of you are going to be receiving offers that expand your material wealth and also expand your recognition. It's akin to going from only being recognized by those within your industry to potentially being recognizable, period. Being known for what it is that you do, being known for your reliability. A lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius are receiving karmas from times in the past when you did a lot of good things and you thought no one knew about it. God saw it. So you're being rewarded for that now. There's a lot of blessings here. It's the energy of breakthrough. And you know, with that type of energy, it attracts a lot of admiration and attention, but it also attracts a lot of gossip and hate. So you're also being called Aries Leo Sagittarius to view your life and your circumstances from a lighter point of view and a lighter perspective, not to take things so personally and not to care so much about other people's opinions. There's a need here for you to learn to be your own supporter, your own own biggest fan rather than relying on validation from other people or even critique from other people there's a need for you to be very solid and confident within yourself and within your own abilities feels like as the increase of praise and recognition and prosperity comes for you now so does the increase of gossip and haters or a very difficult verbal communication so the universe is asking you to let those type of things roll off your back where you're no longer dependent on either. You are your own source of motivation. You are your biggest fan, your own supporter. And regardless of the opinions of others, in terms of what it is that you do, it just doesn't matter anymore. Only what you think matters. Only your connection and communication with God matters. That needs to become your most important relationship, paramount above all else. It's also important that you know that you're taking some things lightly in regards to alternative methods of communication, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you know that you're spiritually gifted. Others of you are not very comfortable with how your spiritual gifts manifest. You're getting ready to enter a cycle. It's really important that you check the transiting energy for your natal chart. You need to see if there are any significant transits in the houses that have to do with Neptune, have to do with Pluto, have to do with Saturn. You need to see where transiting Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto is that in your chart right now. Studying that will give you a lot of information. If you can't do it, I'll do it for you. Regardless, you're entering into transits that are jovial in energy. So Jupiter, the jovial energy, brings a lot of abundance and blessings and expansion. Also no Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're going to be improving on your communication, your communication skills, your ability to secure things through verbal communication. So do know that as your throat chakra is getting activated, something about 
about the activation of the throat chakra is going to increase your material or financial well-being. As you rise in your success and prominence, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, people who view you as a competitor are going to do their damnedest to tear you down. They're going to do it under the guise of humility and kindness and friendship. Nonetheless, they view you as an enemy. They're not going to actually harm you. They just feel that you're going to get in the way of their climb to success. So they either want to level the playing field by bringing you down to the level that they're on, because then that makes the competition fair to them. Or they're going to try to destroy your confidence in yourself so that you'll self-sabotage your success. Really important that you have faith and trust in God, the ancestors, the universe, and faith and trust in yourself, rather than relying on praise or admiration from other people, because just as much as they're building you up and loving on you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is just as quickly as they'll hate you and tear you down with these cards that I have here. You have to get into the energy of striving regardless. If they slept on you, put them to bed. Tuck them in, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let them know what it really is. Because there are a lot of people in regret now, feeling like it's too late to access you. But they need you, and they're coming back around. Your phone is gonna be ringing off the hook or lots of incoming messages. People are like, hey, where you been? I miss you. What you doing? I haven't talked to you. I love you. And you're like, really? I haven't heard from you in a decade. Do you even know what my favorite color is? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know, be aware of people's motivations for coming towards you because there's so much success around you. They want access to it. But the ancestors would warn that some of these people are birds. You're on the star level of energy. So you're not really going to resonate with the birds, you know? I pray that this reading serves you well. Lots of love to you. Have a wonderful weekend, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I will see you again on Tuesday. Ashe. Aloha Virgo Taurus Capricorn, welcome to your reading Earth Element. This reading particularly speaks to those of you who have been involved in processes that have taken you years to develop. Sometimes it has been abundant for you, sometimes it has been really difficult nonetheless. You've held your ground and you've continued working towards something without much promise or guarantee of a future success. But there's a lot of passion here, many Virgo Taurus Capricorns working on passion projects, which probably you are already developed somehow. You may have a business or you may be sharing your passions with the world somehow. Feels as if you have a following. Feels as if it's growing steadily. However, there's going to be a huge increase and a huge influx in either clientele or your following or people's awareness of you and what it is that you do. There is a community that's forming and developing here and it's international. It's all over the world. These this is the energy of star family, soul family. Finding one another, joining together through like passions or like interests. Your energy is seen as original, unique, inspiring. A lot of people would feel that you stand out from the rest. No one does it like you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you, this is going to be massive fame. Others of you, it's going to be recognition within your community, within your country. You're out of this world with your abilities, what you're doing, your professionalism. There's the energy of being a visionary here. And what you're doing, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, it's idle stationary energy, but it reaches the entire world. So this is something that you're able to do from the comfort of your home, or this is something that you can do while traveling. You can do it from anywhere. But what you do is reaching everybody, or it's getting ready to. Many Virgo Taurus Capricorn are gearing up to become household names, not only within their industries, 
but within the world at large. Your brands, your businesses, what it is you're invested in. A lot of attention here. Commerce is very important. So is travel. A lot of people are not going to realize that you're self-made. They may believe that you have a whole team or group of people behind you helping you, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but it's a lot of solitary energy. It's mastery, multitasking, being able to do many things at once. If you can, maybe you'll want to set up a PO box if you don't already have one or some type of forwarding address because I see fans. I see people wanting to send you things, jewelry, tokens of appreciation, various forms of gifts. It's so motivational what you do and it's helping so many people. Many earth signs are being called to heal and guide at this time. There's an important trip here that many of you are planning or wanting to take at least. I'm not talking about trips which are already booked and solidified. This would be energy that's still in the mental realm. So it's a process. It hasn't been guaranteed yet. You're needing to travel. You're needing to expand, get out of your current environment. And because of the world energies, you're either not doing it or you're feeling uncomfortable doing it. It's important that you know that there's important and significant travel that's upcoming. You're going to be returning to a place which you've already been before. It's the second time around. This could be where you were born or where you're from, where you grew up, for example, or this could be somewhere that you visited and spent a significant amount of time. There's a healing and restorative trip that's coming towards you and it coincides around the same time with you becoming very well known and popular within your industry or within your community or worldwide. This is the success that appears as if it's overnight, but many of you have been working on this for years. Your time is coming. You don't need to look at what other people are doing or even compare yourselves to others within your industry because they're all trying to be like you, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or they're looking to you for inspiration. It's important for many of you to stop exposing yourselves to your competitors or to uh, people who do something similar to you. For example, I personally no longer look at any readings from other readers. I no longer look at other people's art. I just focus on myself so what I'm being inspired by is solely for me rather than trying to see what other people are doing. I offer that same advice to you, my fellow earth signs. It's going to serve you well. Something about isolating yourself from the creativity of others helps you to maximize and increase your own creativity. There may be some people whom you should have a close connection to either their family, their friends who are like family, and there's been a significant amount of distance or a long time since you guys have communicated with one another. There's an upcoming conversation here where someone wants to heal or remedy a rift, bring a family connection or a friendship connection closer together. It's important that this conversation happens. Both people or all parties involved need to be able to verbally communicate their grievances. There needs to be apologies compromise and acknowledgement of hurting each other. It's not one-sided. So it's two people or a group of people needing to come together to apologize to one another and speak their truths to one another with the goal of reconciling, healing, or reuniting and moving forward. For a lot of you, you've been lost to people, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And so they didn't know where you went in the world. They couldn't find your social media or they just lost contact with you. Now they're going to be finding you again through your through all of this success that you have coming from the pursuits that you're engaged in. Some of these people are coming back because they just want to say that they know you. You're a celebrity for them. Regardless of your situation, your name is in a lot of people's mouths and you may be totally clueless about this. You're being spoken about in rooms and amongst people who you have no idea about, but they know all about you and you're being spoken of with with an energy of regality. So you're being spoken of in the highest regard. Now people who slept on you or didn't believe in you or gossiped about you, lied about you, tried to harm you are coming back around Virgo Taurus Capricorn to get in on all of this prosperous, abundant energy that surrounds you. And they're gonna be like, oh, I always believed in you, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I just told you that you sucked because I wanted to motivate you. <laughs> 
Right. So do know that the upcoming Mercury retrograde that's going to happen, I believe around the 26th of September is going to affect you heavily, heavily. You're now in the pre-shadow phase as of September 6th. So from September 6th over the course of the next two weeks, it's a wonderful idea for you to document through a daily journal, briefly, what is happening to you on a day-to-day -day experience? What's happening to you on a day-to-day -day basis? That is going to tell you how you can expect to experience the actual Mercury retrograde cycle once Mercury stations retrograde. So it's kind of like giving yourself a prediction, a, a personal prediction, and it's quite useful information. So look for the repeating themes over the course of the next two weeks, and it's gonna give you an idea of what the themes of the Mercury retrograde are going to be for you. Please do it, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, because wow, it is such an important cycle that when we get into the post-shadow phase going into November of 2021, I would suspect that your life is going to be totally different than it is right now, and it's only going to get better. I pray that this reading is a blessing for you. Have a wonderful weekend, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I will see you again on Tuesday. Ashe. Crap is always gonna be crap, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You can take it and you can dress it up. You can put flowers and rainbows around it. You can surround it with poopery. And it's still gonna smell like poop. It's still gonna be crap. No matter how pretty you make it or how much you dress it up. There is a circumstance, maybe multiple circumstances, one in particular, but it feels as if Many of you are dealing with a multitude of things at once, overwhelmed in your energy. However, there's one circumstance in particular that is a bit more annoying than the rest. It seems as if the energy is more pressing. You need to handle this. It can't wait any longer. There's a reality that needs to be seen. Something about a current circumstance or relationship is draining. It's exhausting you and it's leeching off of your energy. There is the desire here to be optimistic, to try to see things in the best possible light. But as I said, you can't dress up crap. It's always gonna be crap. It's always gonna stink, no matter how much you try to turn it around or make it something that it's not. And it would seem that it's time to abandon a particular situation as it's become far too toxic. There could be a very powerful woman attached to the situation. She could be a family member, a boss, someone who you hold in high esteem, someone whom you give a lot of respect to, who you feel deserves a lot of respect. She has very strong features. Something about her nose is interesting. She may have an aquiline type of nose structure or there's a curvature in the nose or something about the tip of the nose points down like into a triangular or V shape. She's much older than she looks. She's been living in her current environment for a significant amount of time, but she could be from somewhere totally different. I'm picking up someone who's po probably living somewhere that's not their native country. They've immigrated, but they've been where they currently are for decades. This person is probably very athletic, fit. It could be a man for some of you. If it is a man, this man is beautiful, beyond handsome. Regardless of gender, this is someone who's athletic and fit, very strong, 
very quick in how they move as well, possibly slender. Someone who is very well dressed, very elegant looking in how they carry themselves. Probably tall, green or hazel eyes, dark eyes for some of you, mostly green or hazel. Their nose is quite distinctive and something about them is quick. They could be an athlete or someone who has an athletic background, very good reflexes, could have been a dancer or could have done something where their body was fundamental in their success. They're quite muscular, edgy dresser. Maybe there's a prominent scar. Tattoos could also be prominent as well. Maybe multicolored hair or salt and pepper gray hair. Hair that's, you know, ombre or dyed, highlighted. Quite elegant speaker, very charming. They know exactly what to say, when to say it. Very balanced individual, can see both sides of a situation. Something about them may seem fake or duplicitous, even though they're not, I would feel from these cards. It just seems like they have a public personality and a private personality and the two don't mix. Could also have a lot of strong Gemini or Libra qualities in the natal chart. I feel that even though the hair is multicolored or dyed, it's mainly a mixture of either brown, gray, or black hair, and something else mixed into it. Probably also very thin hair, maybe even a receding hairline. This person's quite fidgety. They're always moving and shaking about, and you'll also find that Maybe something of their energy is akin to a psychic vampire. So whenever they're around you, they drain you without even trying. They have quite an angular shaped face, maybe also a very strong angular jawline. There's a strong suggestion here from your ancestors that you need to distance yourself from this person. If you are this person, if I've described you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you need some time to yourself, away from everybody. But if I've described someone else to you, you need to take a break from whoever this individual is. There's a need for space in order for you to think clearly and be able to make decisions which are healthy for you and to, you, and to your greatest benefit. Something about this individual's influence is toxic and it's causing you to make decisions from their perspective, which is only applicable to their life. It's not actually gonna serve you well. You know, we all gain our perspectives based off our experiences. So you can't live out someone else's ego choices. Only they can. Best for you to be sovereign in your energy and make decisions for yourself. So there's a need for you to be able to do that. Many Cancer Pisces Scorpios are trying to figure out why their plans are changing last minute, why things that have been scheduled for quite a while are being rescheduled. Things need to be reworked. Things need to be reworked out, reevaluated. Take a second look, try a different approach. It's this type of energy. It's really imperative, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, that you stop driving under the influence. Or if you're doing any type of physical activity that causes you to sweat, it causes a great deal of exertion. It also causes you to be very focused, poised, concentrated type of energy you're doing something that's causing you to be under the influence while you're participating in this activity and it's a it's a recipe for disaster if you're not careful feel like maybe you think it's not such a big deal say for example you may consume cannabis before a workout your cards are suggesting not to do that you may be taking some type of prescription medication as well with sith and mice then maybe you need to have a doctor reevaluate your dosages. Something's causing, for the Cancer Pisces Scorpio that I'm reading for, a shift in consciousness while they're aware of their surroundings, but they may not be aware that their consciousness has shifted. They may not believe that they are as inebriated as they actually are. They could think that they have everything under control they have not reached their limit. They're able to master their energy when in reality they're under the influence of something and, it's, and it could cause a really bad accident. If you've been looking to move or relocate, there is going to come an opportunity. It's going to be offered to you by a friend. I'm picking up on a masculine energy 
they either have a job opportunity for you or a housing opportunity. Something that may feel like it's too good to be true, but something that you really need. That's gonna come up in random conversation. Could also be that many of you are just working with a masculine realtor. But for a great majority of you, you've got a friend around who's got access to something or they know someone or they have a tip that you desperately need. Could have a lot to do with your housing situation or maybe a vehicle that needs to be repaired. You should expect that conversation soon. Most of you are paranoid, feeling like you can't really accept help from people. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you don't have to handle everything on your own. There are people around you who are equipped to be of service to you and really want to do so genuinely from the bottom of their hearts if you allow them to get close enough to you. Whatever happened in your past, these people are not your past, so there, there's no need to make them pay for that past. You've learned from that past. You can move forward and create new connections. You can offer assistance without feeling like uh, you're embarrassing or exposing yourself somehow. And you can also receive assistance and receive help without there being any underlying motivation involved. And there's a lot of love here for you, but it can be difficult to access if you do not see the love or have love for yourself. Many Cancer Pisces Scorpios are having vivid dreams, maybe even flashbacks. It's causing night sweats, causing you to wake up in a panic from your sleep. You're not getting a lot of rest because of this. If this resonates with you, you need to see a mental health professional. It's definitely got something to do with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and these are actually memories that are coming back. They're not dreams. I'm gonna get out of that energy. I don't wanna trigger anyone. So I pray that this is a blessing to you and it serves you well. Have a wonderful weekend, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I will see you again on Tuesday. Ashe. Aloha Air Element, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Many of you are waiting on a reply, some type of boundary to be lifted, or some type of correspondence to be received. This is pertinent information that you need in order to move on or advance into something. For some of you, you can't plan for your future until you receive this document that has an important decision in it or some type of important information. This is something that's been delayed. It's something that you cannot track. So you're wondering when it's gonna show up. How long is it gonna take? These cards would suggest that you could definitely receive this within the next day to the next seven days. It's coming. So if you've been waiting for a special correspondence, it's on its way to you. I also feel if you're waiting for some type of acceptance or an offer, and you maybe are expecting not to get it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you won something. You're the candidate, the chosen one, the, the person for the job. However that resonates with you, you were the best out of what was available to choose from, and I feel that you're going to be getting some type of correspondence that shares that positive and wonderful news with you. We're back to this big decision that you all need to make. Feels that it's, time for you to move into a new environment. Something about the current atmosphere is no longer conducive for you. Many of you may be considering relocation at a massive level, but at the very least, you're trying to get into a new apartment, a new house, maybe purchase land. However, it resonates with you. If you've been feeling the intuition that you need to leave your current environment, it's 
it's on point. You really should trust your intuition. It's not leading you wrong. Feels like you can no longer grow and expand in your current environment. Also feels that you have a lot of energy around you that puts unnecessary, undue, or burdensome responsibility on you. Responsibility that you may be fulfilling out of honor or what you deem to be a necessity, but it's really not, it's optional. So your ancestors are coming through, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, encouraging you to take a risk and close something down, leave something, move away from something and go towards the new direction. I wouldn't be surprised if many of you have a particular location on your vision boards or however you manifest your wishes, desires, opportunities in your life. There's a particular location that you're always focusing your energy on. I feel like that's where you need to go. Any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's trying to find a solution to what seems like an impossible situation, especially those that have to deal with your work environment or your living situation, there's a need for partnership here. If it's a living situation, there's a need for a roommate or the consideration of going into a roommate situation. Someone may want to do something single, solitary, without anyone else's interference, but financially right now, if you're going to build wealth for the future, that's not the wisest idea. So for your financial health, you need to join up with others. It's also imperative to know that rejection is always protection. If something is being blocked here, you can't gain access to it, there's a barrier, a decision comes that's not what you wanna hear, or you have what you need, but because of the world's circumstances, you can't do what you need to do. It may not be what you wanna hear, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but rejection is protection. Sometimes the things that you have your heart set out on the most, which seem like they would be wonderful opportunities for you, could in fact regress you or harm you, or maybe simply are not for you in this lifetime. Feels like many Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are coming into awakenings, reality checks about what's really going on in their life versus what they tell themselves is going on. So if there's been any aspect of your personality that's been in fantasy land, there could be a lot of wake up calls, reality checks that happen over the course of the upcoming days that help you to see reality as it is versus reality as you perceive it to be. If by chance you've been doing anything secretively, especially when it comes to your creative work, or even potentially if I'm talking to someone who's a scammer, a copycat, or someone who steals other people's work and says that it's theirs, or if you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, are dealing with someone who's doing that to you, there's energy here that is bigger than human understanding. So I'm not even gonna try to decipher this. What I will tell you is if you've been doing this to somebody, you need to get an attorney. And if someone has been doing this to you, Jesus himself would have to come down from the cross to help that person deal with all of the karmic repercussions of their thievery. And I don't think Jesus is gonna come down from the cross to do it. There is a public exposure or an outing here. Someone getting outed for being a fake or a bigot or taking from someone who was lesser known and perpetuating it as if it was their work when it wasn't. So there's this energy of a very popular, very influential. It's gonna cost them their empire, their reputation, and whomever they've been stealing from or copying from is going to suddenly become famous or well-known or extremely popular because the public is going to learn that who they've been going to for the source of some important information is not the source of that information. They're copying it. So once they understand this, they're going to instead start tuning into the source. And the one who's been plagiarizing, copying, stealing, whatever, yeah, it's the type of energy that makes someone want to go and just off themselves. So it's, it's really the darkest, deepest of depressions, but someone brought them, someone brought this on themselves. So you reap what you sow. This is the nature of that energy. Too much drama for me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I pray that this reading is a blessing to you and it serves you well. I wish you a wonderful weekend. 
I will see you again on Tuesday. Love to you. Ashe.